friends, and welcome. I'm Mrs. Cole, and today is the fourth Sunday of Lent. This Sunday has a little surprise. The priest's vestments, or robes, are rose, or pink. You're probably thinking, wait a minute, I thought that violet was the color for, for Lent. Well, it is for the other Sundays, but on the fourth Sunday, the priest wears the happy color of rose, to show the joy and love in Christ. Did you remember that the third Sunday of Advent was also rose instead of violet? If you do, give yourself a pat on the back because those are the only two days in the whole church year that the priest wears pink. So you can tell that to your parents tonight and really impress them with how smart you are. Today, we learn that God loved the world so much that he gave his only son to save us. Let's hear all about it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, Father, for loving us so much that you sent us your son. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So here's a picture of Jesus with a group of people. And it's showing us that he loves everyone, boys and girls, men and women, brown, white, black, all people, and all nations. God sent his son to earth to teach everyone how to live and how to love God and each other. As it says here, Jesus came to save us. So let's see what's in the Bible bag today and learn a little more. Well, the first thing we have is a measuring cup and a tape measure. Our story today is about how much God loves us, which made me wonder just how great is God's love and how would we measure it? Do you think God's love would overflow this measuring cup? I think it would. And what about this tape measure? Even though it goes out pretty far, God's love is even farther. So how big is God's love? Well, let's think about the biggest thing you can imagine. An elephant, a whale, a skyscraper, the ocean or the sky or outer space. God's love for us, for every single person, is bigger than any of those things and bigger than anything we can imagine. It's so big that God never gives up on us or stops loving us no matter what we do. He will always forgive us. His love is eternal and endless. Now here we have a flashlight, which of course people use to see when it's dark. As we know, Jesus is the light of the world, and that reminds us again how much God loves us. Jesus brought us the light of salvation, and he shows us how to live in the light by loving God and each other. Now here we have a little gift. We all like to get gifts on our birthday and Christmas, don't we? Actually, I like to get a gift any time. What was the best gift that you ever received? Was it a new bike or a new doll or Legos or an Xbox or a play kitchen? Those are all great gifts, but today we're learning about the best gift ever given without question, and it was the gift of Jesus, who came to give us eternal life in heaven by dying on the cross for our sins. God loved us so much that he sent his son to save us. All we have to do is believe in him and follow his teachings. And here he is. So let's hear today's story. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus told Nicodemus, God loved the people of this world so much that he gave his only son, so that everyone who has faith in him will have eternal life and never die. God did not send his son into the world to condemn its people. He sent him to save them. This is the good news of the Lord. So that's our Bible story for today, where we learn that God loved us so much that he sent his son to save us. This week, how can you show your love for God and for each other? Do you remember how we've talked about getting closer to God during Lent by prayer, doing good deeds, and making sacrifices or giving things up? 
there's about two weeks of Lent left. So this week, could you say some extra prayers? Can you be a light for your family by doing some extra good deeds? Maybe be especially cooperative and helpful and kind to your brothers and sisters and your parents. Maybe you can give up a bad habit like impatience or losing your temper. These are all ways that we show our love for God and each other and shine our light in the world. Let's end with our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, Father, for loving us so much that you sent us your Son, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So until next time, be loving, be kind, shine your light in the world, and remember, Jesus loves you.